What's up, LC heads? I'm back. Yeah, I had to uh, take a little bit of time out on the channel. Just a lot of stuff going on. I'll be honest with you, it was not the best Christmas. Uh, just because of what happened with my friends. Uh, seems like, and me, uh, seems like everybody kind of got shafted in one way or another. But you know what? I always say, no matter how bad Christmas is, just always look at it and say, you know what? That just means that my next Christmas will be awesome. I'll make my next Christmas awesome uh, because I will learn from everything that happened this Christmas, right? Bad things typically lead to good things. Got to ride the low to feel the high, that type of deal. So here we are. We are back in Last Claudia. Um, and I wanted to really talk about kind of the Christmas grind, at least what I'm doing in here uh, before this event is over. One day, 10 hours, baby, ain't that long of a time. Uh, and personally, I don't know about you guys, but what I've been doing is just trying to fill my account out, working on getting characters to level 100 and unlocking, um, uh, what are those things called? You, get, you guys know what I'm talking about. We're unlocking stuff for heroes. What are they called? Wards. They're calling them wards. So I'm just working on getting as many wards as I can. 1% more to everybody's magic points. 1% more to everyone's hit points. Uh, 100 more damage cap to dark. 1% one, you know, 1 more damage to uh, non-elemental damage. Stuff like that. So I've been going through my heroes and just kind of seeing what wards I can get. And I've been working on that. And one of the big things that's going to be in the way, unless you have just a plethora of uh, what, like rainbow potions to get you to a hundred, uh, is the actual awakening materials that you're going to need uh, in order to get your character to that level, and then you need two hundred shards of that hero in order to unlock the ward ability. Let's take a look at some of my heroes here. Right, uh, who was I just working on? Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? We need to go up a little bit. What have we, what have we done with this guy? Okay, we did get his ward. Oh, you know what? I think there's one of the rogues that I definitely need to work on. Oh, we got his. We got his. Who was I? Oh, you know what? It was Goroth. Goroth. I think that's his name. The Insatiable. Oh. Oh, look at that. Cool. Get some shards to throw around. So here is Goroth. Obviously, we're going to need these mats just to get them over that 100 threshold. Uh, and these are a pain in the dick to get, right? It's also going to cost you a million gold. Luckily for me, I have a bunch of gold bars I've been saving up. Right, but the uh, the forbidden beast nuclei, uh, these eight nine star awakening items, uh, even the beast tail. Like, look, I only have enough for well for him, really. Right, I'm gonna be down to four of those. Uh, so these items are kind of a pain to grind out normally. Uh, and right now we have. We have one of these maps up in the event, and I'm always, I always find myself wishing that this was open because these materials are such a pain in the D to grind out. Typically, uh, it's really nice to have this limit break tower here, right? I've just been going in here. Let's see, here is the, the beast tails that we need 30 of just for Goroth, right? And here's some more of the nuclei, right? So, each of these, they have a pretty good chance of dropping at least one of the nine star items like this Cursed Onyx Eye. Uh, and that is a hell of a lot better than than we typically have. So I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. Oh, we only have six of these feathers. I am going to be running the piss out of this literally for just like the next day straight. This is all really that I'm concentrating on, right? Uh, other than just working on a few heroes to get them to level 100, there's plenty of training fields that are up right now. Um, 
you know what if you get 50 of the the tickets for this event um, you know I shouldn't say tickets what are they uh, there's a way to get 50 shards at a time obviously it's not in the drill house I believe it's the ability tower oh no no it is the drill house uh, ability tower make sure to run these you can only run these three times a day uh, I misplaced my phone for two days okay I didn't misplace my phone I knew which house it was at I just couldn't make my way over there and I was just like damn that's six times that I didn't get to run the ability tower these are packed full of the gems that that you're gonna need to unlock your ability kits the drill house is where it's at uh, I missed I missed two days of running the special soul accumulation that's a hundred soul shards of any hero that I would have wanted for only five of these tickets I only have 40 right now um, pretty much all these tickets that I'm getting I'm going to be running special soul accumulation it costs 50 tickets but that's because you're getting 50 uh, soul shards of any hero that you put uh, that you make run through this make run through this yeah so uh, that's where all my stuff's going obviously some of these heroes that I have in a party that I'm trying to get to level 100 um, we have the skills the we have the training field here you can only run it three times unless you want to pay 20 tickets to run it uh, obviously I'm gonna be running these three every day with my party that I'm trying to get to level 100 to work on um, to work on you know getting all those juicy little extras right and along the way obviously um, the skill study skill study I don't know how much more of this I'm going to be running because I've pretty much taught damn near everything to everyone um, yeah especially the characters that are relevant and the characters I'm actually playing with right uh, another way to level up your heroes pretty easy is just run tower tower is great experience for a ton of heroes all at the same time right but pretty much I'm just gonna be in here grinding out the soul shards maybe going in the ability gate probably going for as many rainbow uh, the little rainbow gems they're a little bit more rare uh, they're easy to get here uh, but the big one is going to be the limit break tower uh, just because I have so many heroes to get into that threshold uh, and I suggest you all do the same because once this is gone uh, it is a complete pain in the in the whatever you got <laughs> it's a complete pain in the whatever you got to grind some of this stuff out uh, which one the bird let's do the bird right so fairly easy here uh, for the bird I'm bringing one hero to actually clean this damn thing out because that bird can really make it take a while to clear so yeah we're bringing big Papa Virgil right and then we're just bringing farmers we're trying to get as many drops as possible you guys know the routine it's fairly simple by the way Virgil just still freaking awesome uh, gotta love it especially with the extra damage cap that we can get from melee now uh, 8,000 more damage uh, I haven't had a chance to play around with that as much as I would like to we're gonna be seeing we're gonna be seeing stu some stuff from melee I'm almost done with her uh, I'm gonna be running her with Lilibet just to see what I can get out of Lil's basic attack here's one of my favorite things to do here I save my beast hunter arc right for the wave that has like eight of these birds right or however many you can get and then I just try to finish everything off with my robes right obviously I don't want Virgil getting all the kills here <laughs> uh, with the arc that I have set up I think the boss I have an extra I have a chance of getting an extra item from the boss if I'm reading that arc correctly but Virgil has to get the kill that's not that hard to do uh, here's another wave where we have a decent amount of enemies I will call Virgil to just basic attack and I will just try to spam everything with my rogues try to get them to get the kill where I have a higher chance of uh, you know getting a drop from them on the killing blow and you guys know the routine right uh, we've covered farming a lot farming's changed quite a bit So I pretty much, I need to get this fool to drop uh, one chest, if I could. I have two rogues to do that. 
And actually, I'm going to use Shinobi Special because that has a high chance of getting a chest to drop. And as soon as I get that chest to drop, well, I can go in there with Big Papa Virgil and just finish him off. So I'm sure that chest has already dropped. I'm just not seeing it. But we'll just, we'll just make sure. And another one. Let's do another one. Oh, we were getting shot. And why not? I love seeing Virgil special. I still dig it. I think it's great. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. It's gonna charge his kit. And there we go. 67,000 a hit. Not too bad. Not too bad. Especially when you can double your hit count. Freaking awesome. We did get our chest there. Uh, let's just hope that we get our feather. Uh, this is much easier and you have a much better chance of actually getting the good items in here than we would uh, just running the normal grind levels for this stuff. So yeah, uh, no such luck here. Not yet. No such luck here. We did not get that feather. So uh, I'm still, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, other than that, yeah, I suggest everybody kind of do the same thing. While this map is open and all this stuff is here and we have access to it, uh, take a look at your account. Look at what you're going to be working on. Look at what you need, right? You might have three or four heroes that you're trying to finish up. Uh, just kind of look at the materials that you're going to need for those heroes, right? And make sure you at least have that plus more. Right, because there's going to be new heroes dropping. Count your gems. Make sure you have enough gems to finish the heroes that you're working on, and any potential heroes that you're you're going to want to pull. Um, they are dropping a new hero soon. Big surprise, not really. And make sure to go over this thing. There's like chests hidden everywhere. You will see the little little flyer drones. I think I got them all for today. Right. So yeah. I am back up in this mosque. This is what I'm doing. Just kind of grinding the very end of this thing out. And uh, I wish you all the best, right? I will definitely, you'll hear from me before New Year's for sure. And I want to wish everybody the best luck out here. Uh, make sure you're getting your grind on because I think we only have a day left of this map being open, right? And I will see you all on the flip side. I will see you on the next one. There will be a next one, damn it. I'm going to keep it rolling, baby. Later, everybody.